It's Tasty Tip Tuesday with Chef Joanne Thomas. Today we are making spaghetti squash with our OM garlic pesto butter. A lot of times people are intimidated by spaghetti squash because they don't know what to do with it. They look at it at the grocery store and it's like, hmm, I'm not touching that. <laughs> but today I'm going to show you how to create an easy recipe using spaghetti squash. So of course, first we want to white wash it off, use a paper towel to dry it, and you want to make sure that you have a sharp knife and a stable cutting area. Cut the spaghetti squash into circle rings. A lot of times people normally cut them lengthwise to get two halves, but this way we're cutting them into circle rings. We're automatically having single service portions. So Cut the rings, use your hands to get all of the guts out. Yep, I said it, the guts. You want to get all of that out. You want to make sure you get all of the seeds as well. If you don't want to use your hands, you can easily use a knife or a spoon. Line them up on a sheet pan and then drizzle them with olive oil. After you have them nicely coated with the olive oil, we're going to use our signature spice blend, which is our roasted garlic herb blend. And we are going to generously season the spaghetti squash rings with our spice blend. Once you get them nicely coated, you want to bake them in an oven. I set the oven to 350 degrees. Bake them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are tender. Once they come out, you want to take your fork and be careful because yes, they will be hot. Use your fork to separate them. And as you can see, it looks like spaghetti. Hence the name, spaghetti squash. So this can be a substitute for any pasta dish. You can use it and put marinara sauce on it. You can put Alfredo sauce on it. But we're adding the pesto with our OM garlic butter to create an umami flavor in our mouths, a party in your mouth, okay? So once you get all of the circle rings separated, you wanna make sure that there is no space in between. So use your fork to evenly spread out the spaghetti squash, uh, flesh of the, the spaghetti squash. Once you get that all done, we are going to mix. If you do not have um, your favorite pesto at home, you can of course make it from scratch, but you can always go to your favorite grocer and get your pesto sauce and mix that equal parts with our OM garlic, garlic butter. Drizzle the spread it out spaghetti squash rings with a little olive oil. You can also add a little more spice blend if you feel you need to. And then put a dollop of the OM garlic pesto butter in the center. Remember, it's going to be hot, so it will immediately start melting. You want to spread it out nice and good. And once you get all of them covered, I like to add cheese. Oh my God, I love cheese. And so I am going to sprinkle them with some fresh Parmesan cheese. And then also to give it a nice little crunch. I'm going to sprinkle some Italian flavored panko breadcrumbs. So you can use whatever cheese you want. If you don't want to use cheese, you don't have to. If you don't want to do pesto, you can do a marinara sauce. So you can get creative with this dish. But again, this is just a way to show you how you can use spaghetti squash. Now, once we get it all nice and covered and coated, we are going to pop it back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes so it can get nice and golden brown. And now, as you see, I am garnishing it with, I'm sorry, I'm sprinkling it. We're not garnishing yet. I'm sprinkling it with the Italian panko breadcrumbs. I like the panko because it's nice and thick and it'll give you that crunch. If you like the crunch, if you don't like the crunch, you can omit that step. And so once it comes out the oven, see how good and golden brown. Oh my God. I wish you could smell this. Mm, 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 mm. I am going to garnish it with some fresh, finely chopped parsley. And then again, I am using this as my entree for the day. So this can be your vegetarian entree, or it can be your side dish. I toasted off some Italian bread 
and I am going to use this as my carbs for the day. Even though spaghetti squash has some carbs, but it's not as lot a lot of carbs as actual pasta. And then I love balsamic glaze. So I am drizzling some balsamic glaze on these and I'm going to garnish it with some microgreens. Microgreens give you the vegetables that you need with the nutrients and the vitamins and the enzymes, all of that healthy stuff. And this is the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make spaghetti squash with me. I'm about to dig in. Mm, mm, mm. Make sure you're following me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Chef Joanne Thomas and go to my website and subscribe, chefjoannethomas.com. Thank you for watching.